All right, back on the wagon, baby. Let's squeeze out a Swifty on CW Skywarp. So the Combiner Wars are certainly raging and the squads are starting to sprawl out of control a little bit. There's like a whole stratum of seemingly entirely optional tag-along Legends mascots trying out for the team and making the Gestalt look worse. Because what's another tenor? And they're definitely getting mad mileage out of these molds. And even among the shameful amount of repaints, the Legends roster's padded out with even more brazen repurposings of bots that were old news before the Sea Wars even kicked off. Case in point, this little Skypants here who's already the fourth user of this mold since Acid Storm's started sticking his beak in. And despite not really being built for us, I suppose he kind of qualifies for Combiner Wars because you can apparently crumple him up into a kind of tit shield for Menasaur, but not really. But whatever his place in the world, little warp face over here is certainly a bit of a funk factory. So check it out. He's certainly not a bad looking little Legends gentleman. Le gentleman. He's perhaps an ounce ungainly with his top heavy wingspan and weirdly bulging tits. Check out his cheeky grabby hands here on these neat little triple jointed arms with baby null rays on the go. And these slinky little jeggings down here with the quality claw hoovy macros trainers. It's pretty cracking for so tiny a thing with the killer cheekbones and x-ray death stare, but it is just kind of embedded on there like some fossilised face dickhead. Which sadly slams the brakes on a lot of poses, but it does have some neat sculpted easter egg action with this horrendous goiter secreted in his robo throat. Good band name. Anyway, this oddly distinct Robobot comes from the Infiltration Era EJ Su F22, which is still exactly as charismatic and kick-ass as it was 10 years ago. It's just a bit of a different flavour of Deceptobot, and I think this is the appropriate hard copy of it. Just a little one, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Just pop them on the shelf. I mean, on the Skywarp Shrine. Anyway, while we're talking Soul Seekers, what about this baby bugger? Yes, indeed, check out this even Legends of Legends lad. So this is the inevitable and long overdue Skywarp release of that one Reveal the Shield star screen from like 2011. Is he Combiner Wars? Is he regular generations? I don't know. It's floating around. And I guess he's a passable one. He's got some weirdly indigo clamp hands on the go with some built-in bicep batons. But I gotta say, the old Legion Legends lads are a bit of a sorry sight since the size class soft reboot. So he's maybe not as much fun as the newer guys, but he's still a pretty perf pocket size seeker. It's an older mold, sir, but it checks out. <laughs> Oh my god though, if he doesn't bust out a surprising and delightfully convoluted little innovation mation. It's just insane, like the arms fold way back and the weapons crease out into a bit of the fuselage and the head goes like, whoa, into this blantastic little snooze cruise. I mean, it looks fine, it's a nicely dark little dart, but it's definitely all about the transformation. And isn't that kind of the point? Unlike this guy, who's rocking two truly killer modes, but bridged by a regular old boring old obvious old seeker transformation. You just jam the arms in and jam out the old rubber nose, but it gets you all the way to this nice little raptor-esque infiltration plane. Check him out with the fierce diamondy wings and the auspiciously monstrous landing gear all up the front. It's just a class little almost raptor, but without the dreaded bay form of stigma and with buckets of attitude and righteous rubbery flat flaps. It is a smidge of a kibble catastrophe on the underside with the motionless froze face and the exposed limb bits. He's got surprise knee wheels and I imagine he could grab an extra gun in one of these egregious pinch ports. So as a pre-combined time legend man, we won't hold him accountable for not actually combining, but I think we'd at least appreciate a minicon to wedge up this gasping fun hole. Like not even just another reflector? I mean it's scarcely even vaguely a turn off and like who would even truly be worthy to bung that back cloaca? So yes, this is a tiny triumph of a smaller seeker, bringing all the iconicness and Decepticonic swaggy you expect from a jet former jerk for a fully foxy little figure. Plus it's so weird and novel to have him at this size class so he can mingle in with Power Glide and that crew. And with a bonus Legion sidekick Skywarp in the bag and a leader in the oven, it's looking like a bit of a bumper year for the Warpman. And by extension, me. Big ol' sugary love bombs in the direction of Will and Brent for treating me right. These are the Legend Skywarps, my name's Theo, and I just have no idea what to do with my hair. Sure to subscribe for more Theo's awesome Transformers reviews. Robocentric vocabulary.